If you have a race coming up that includes a longer distance run within it, then it can be very beneficial to include a long distance run within your training plan. Watch on to find out more. Hey, how's it going? I'm Will from Iron Will Multisport Australia, your place to find tips, tricks and experience in triathlon, multisport and endurance events and training. If you have a race coming up that involves a run, especially if it's a long run, such as a half Ironman or full Ironman, then it can be very beneficial to include this run within your training plan. For me, I have a full Ironman plan for May, which means that the run part of that is a 42.2 kilometer run or 26.2 miles. As such, my coach has me planned for one long run every week on the Wednesday, which for me is today. At the start of my training, this was only about 12 kilometers. But now, since I'm getting closer and closer to the event, that long run has started to balloon up to, well, as of today, 32 kilometers. So how long should the long run be? Well, that depends on the distance of the race that you're actually attempting. And it also depends on the training that you've had so far. If your race coming up includes a shorter distance run, so, you know, your sprint a triathlon, Olympic triathlon, that sort of thing, then you can include over distance running where you your long run is longer than the longest run for those distances. Although if the event you've got coming up is a longer distance, so your half Ironman or full Ironman, then your long run should typically be a little bit less than the longest distance that you're going to run in that event. For me, my long run today at 32 kilometers is probably gonna take just over three hours. As I mentioned before, the amount of distance you wanna cover in your long run does also depend on the training that you've done before. As a typical rule of thumb, you don't really want to increase your training distances over the week by anything more than about 10%. That's where you're starting to put a bit of quite a lot of pressure on your body and load on your body. This may cause excess stress, may cause fatigue, may cause injury, which you do not want to get. So it may take a few weeks before you get up to the longest distance for your long run. What length of long run do you do? Let us know in the comments below. So why is the long run important? I know for myself, one of the best things that long runs provide me is an idea of how it feels to run for that extended distance of time, length of time, that extended length of time across that distance. Mixing up my words today. And as joining into this, it gives you that sort of mental strength and confidence that you can complete that sort of distance. What you don't want to have happen is to get maybe 21 kilometers into your full marathon and think, oh wow. I'm only halfway. You wanna try and get that mental strength so you can push yourself and realize that you can achieve a lot more than you think. It is a lot of mind over matter. Practicing this longer run distance also allows you to figure out how you run and also how to pace yourself across this run. The, when you go for longer and longer runs, you'll realize as you get further and further into it, that it becomes harder to maintain the same running style. You'll fall back into different ways of running. And you may also slow down your pace or increase your pace. If you practice this, this means that you'll get used to that to be in the beginning, which means that you won't push yourself too hard, which means that you'll be able to keep up in the later parts of the run. It's also an excellent chance to test out your gear. Now this involves your equipment, so your clothing, shorts, shoes, socks, shirt. It can also mean like a visor, sunglasses if you wanna run with those. It can also mean creams, such as like your anti-chafe cream or sunscreen. See how all of that works across a longer run so that you can get used to it nice and early. In terms of your body, doing that long run is great for building up that baseline aerobic endurance, building up your base strength, which means that especially on race day, you can push yourself harder and faster for longer. If you've been around running long enough, of course, you would have heard of the wall. This is where in simple terms, kind of your sugar stores run out and your body starts working on the fat stores instead. So doing the long run and practicing the long run means that you'll be able to push through this wall. Or if you're gonna take nutrition in during the run, then of course, this is a great opportunity for you to practice taking in gels during your run. Of course, it's recommended to take in an energy gel or some sort of carbohydrate every like 20 to 40 minutes or thereabouts during a long run so that you don't hit the wall to begin with so you don't have to use fatty acids during your run. So this is also a great chance to practice using those gels and whatever other electrolyte drinks or drinks, water, whatever you need to do for that run. If you're planning on taking your nutrition with you, 
then this is a chance to go through that nutrition specifically. Or if you don't want to have to carry your nutrition on your long run for a race, then try and find out what nutrition will be provided on the course and try and practice with that nutrition so that you can make sure that your body is okay with using that. Now this may be gels, this may be flat Coca-Cola, might even be Red Bull, electrolyte drink, whatever it is. Try and practice with that specific thing that you're gonna have on race day so nothing's a surprise to your body. So how often should you be doing a long run? Typically you only need to do one long run a week. This is enough to get the benefits of the long run while not wearing you out for the rest of your training. And because it is a long run, you need to make sure that you are listening to your body. If you need to slow down, then slow down. If you need water, then get water. If you need to stop, stop. If you need to stretch, then stretch. Running, as with a lot of exercise, can have diminished returns. The more running you do, the more chance of injury there is. And the more running you do, the less chance there is to do other exercises and cross-training throughout that week. You want to make sure that every run that you do is not just junk miles, that it has a purpose. What's the next race length you're aiming for? Let us know in the comments section down below. If you want to get triathlon content from here in Australia and New Zealand every week, then hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Now I've got to go on my run, so cheerio.